Hello, welcome to part 4 of Physiotherapy Question and Answer MCQ series. Let's move to our 76th question. Burlow's test and Ottolone test is useful in Option A. Instability and dislocation of the shoulder joint Option B. Instability and dislocation of the hip joint Option C. Instability of knee joint Option D. Fracture of the knee joint And the answer is Option B. Instability and dislocation of the hip joint Moving to our 77th question, UCBL, University of California, Berkeley Lab, insert is indicated for dash. Option A, equinus foot. Option B, cavus foot. Option C, flat foot. Option D, CTEV foot. And the answer is Option C, flat foot. Moving to our 78th question, Galassi fracture is Option A. Supracondylar fracture of the humerus. Option B. Fracture of the distal radius with inferior radio ulnar joint dislocation. Option C. Fracture of in proximal site and dislocation of the elbow. Option D. Fracture of the radial head. And the answer is Option B. Fracture of the distal radius with inferior radio ulnar joint dislocation. Moving to our 79th question. Measurement of axillary crutches is taken from dash. Option A. Anterior axillary fold to 20 cm forward and lateral to lift till toe. Option B. Tip of the axilla to 20 cm forward and lateral to little toe. Option C. Anterior axillary fold to tip of medial malleolus. Option D. All of the above. And the answer is Option B. Tip of the axilla to 20 cm forward and lateral to the little toe. Moving to our 80th question, a patient coming to you finds it difficult to flex and extend his spine. His chest expansion is also reduced. What is the most possible condition? Option A. Goatee arthritis. Option B. Rheumatoid arthritis. Option C. Systematic lupus erythematitis. Option D. Anglosing spondylitis. And the answer is Option B. Anglosing spondylitis. Moving to our 81st question, Saturday night palsy is Option A, ulnar nerve palsy Option B, radial nerve palsy Option C, axillary nerve palsy Option D, median nerve palsy And the answer is Option B, radial nerve palsy Moving to our 82nd question, which muscle is known as kicking muscle, which is a two joint muscle that is active during both hip flexion and knee extension? Option A. Iliopsoas. Option B. Rectus femoris. Option C. Sartorius. Option D. Pectineus. And the answer is Option B. Rectus femoris. Moving to our 83rd question, in two-point discrimination, the distance between two points in the palm is Option A, 5 to 6 mm Option B, 7 to 10 mm Option C, 10 to 15 mm Option D, none And the answer is Option B, 7 to 10 mm Moving to our 84th question, fixed stiffness of first IP joint of big toe is called Option A, hallucis varus. Option B, hallucis valgus. Option C, hammer toe. Option D, hallucis rigidus. And the answer is Option B, hallucis rigidus. Moving to our 85th question, what should be the progression of exercise protocol following a musculoskeletal injury? Option A. Isometric, eccentric, concentric. Option B. Isometric, concentric and concentric and eccentric. Option D. Isometric, concentric, eccentric. And answer is Option A. Isometric, eccentric and concentric. Moving to our 86th question. Heels are raised to stand on toes is an example of Option A, first order lever. Option B, second order lever. Option C, third order lever. And the answer is Option B, second order lever. Moving to our 87th question. Relaxed passive movement is useful for dash. 
ऑप्शन ए मसल स्ट्रेंथनिंग ऑप्शन बी इंप्रूविंग जॉइंट रेंज ऑफ मसल ऑप्शन सी रिमेंबरेंस ऑफ पैटर्न ऑफ मूवमेंट ऑप्शन डी इंप्रूविंग कोऑर्डिनेशन एंड आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी रिमेंबरेंस ऑफ द पैटर्न ऑफ मूवमेंट मूविंग टू और एटी एट क्वेश्चन कैविटेशन इज ऑप्शन ए थर्मल इफेक्ट ऑफ अल्ट्रासाउंड ऑप्शन बी नॉन थर्मल इफेक्ट ऑफ अल्ट्रासाउंड ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एबव ऑप्शन डी नॉन ऑफ द एबव एंड द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी नॉन थर्मल इफेक्ट ऑफ अल्ट्रासाउंड Moving to our 89th question during tonsillitis pain in the ear is due to the involvement of option A vagus nerve option B caudal tympani nerve option C glossopharyngeal nerve option D hypoglossal nerve and the answer is option C glossopharyngeal nerve Moving to our 90th question prolonged walking or running in those who are not accustomed to it can cause fracture of option a talus option b calcaneum option c metatarsal shaft option d phalanges and the answer is option c metatarsal shaft moving to our 91st question the band which disappears in muscle contraction is option a a band option b i band option c z band option d h zone and the answer is option d h zone or h band moving to our 92nd question which is dependent on velocity option a flaccidity option b spasticity option c rigidity option d none of the above and the answer is option b spasticity moving to our 93rd question persons with unilateral hip problem lean to the affected side and advise to use a walking stick on which side he should use the stick option a affected side option b sounded side option c either side option d single stick is not useful and the answer is option b sounded side moving to our 94th question A person with BMI greater than 25 kg per meter square is option A overweighted option B underweighted option C under obese option D obese and the answer is option D obese moving to our 95th question electromyography option a record skeletal muscle action potential option b record muscle twitch option c measures the electrical activity of the heart muscle option d measures the neuronal action potentials and the answer is option d measures the neuronal action potentials moving to our 96th question lung bar spine is not involved in dash option a ankylosing spondylitis option b rheumatoid arthritis option c osteoarthritis option d none of the above and the answer is option b rheumatoid arthritis moving to our 97th question the nutrient artery to the femur is option a profunda femoris artery option b femoral artery option c popliteal artery option d medial circumflex femoral artery and the answer is option a profunda femoris artery moving to our 98th question head of the humerus measures almost the half of the sphere with an angular value dash option a 180 option b 160 option c 150 option d 120 and the answer is option c 150 moving to our 99th question joint mobilization is contraindicated in option a soft tissue tightness option b joint stiffness option c loose body inside the joint option d bursitis and the answer is option c loose body inside the joint moving to our 100 question pulmonary edema is most likely associated with a failing dash option a right atrium option b left atrium option c right ventricle option d left ventricle and the answer is option a 
option d left ventricle so that's all for today if you need further clarification check the description box and give your feedback in the comment box if you like this mcq session do subscribe to this channel for more videos thank you